Uh, this is a fun warm-up activity for our offload. Uh, we're still trying to work our offload in space, but uh, we're just trying to manipulate the defender and where he goes. So the two attackers are going to be anywhere in this square, running around in any direction. They're just trying to keep away from the ball technically, trying to initiate contact with a fend or a bumper and trying to stop that from happening. So the next progression of this is, our, is a 2v1 primer for our offloads. We're just going to be walking through in a straight line this time or in direction and the attackers are going to initiate contact using whatever means they need possible. With this, we want to be either attacking with our bumper and flicking out the back to the support player. If we guess he comes back through here, we can initiate by dropping the shoulder and coming around the corner, creating that space for us and that window of opportunity. The last thing we can do, or another thing we can do, is make it easier for the switch, getting that nice long fend out so you create that space between you and the defender. We can progress this up to slow a little bit more jogging, so we go at it a little bit harder, creating the space. The defenders can put a little bit more on it so they're not just going passive and we build it up until we find ourselves comfortable using our feet and using our hands to create space between you and the defender. Yeah. So we're then going to progress this drill out. We've extended the drill length. We're going into sort of more rectangular shape, still in that five meter length, but we're just trying to work on our decision making when we add an extra defender and an extra attacker. So these can be our support lines as the ball is being passed across the line static. When I say go, we're going to run into the space and the defense is going to make a decision. This allows you again, we still want to try and manipulate the defense, running into the attack and trying to create space for our support runners. So we're going to go again, passing along the line, go. So he comes forward, creates that space and hopefully he has a bit more space than they do to execute that, uh, that drill. We'll do a couple more reps, so passing along the line. Go. See how Sheldo has created that bumper, uh, taken the first man, the first defender out of play and dropped it off on the outside for his support runners. And go. A little tip, if we get it, catch it on the outside, we're looking for the ball carrier to go hard into the middle to try and create space either side for his support. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here, for you see from the other angle, we just want to see our attack and what they are doing in support lines and to create that space between them and the defender. So when I say go, they're going to walk through. He's created that space, suck the defender in and using his body and his arms to create that space and go through that. We're going to walk, go through again a little bit quicker. So ready, go. He's coming into the middle. He's created the space between two defenders and dropped it off on the outside, good work. Go! He's come into the middle. There we go, he's through a hole, he probably didn't need to offload there, but we're still working hard to create that space and make the defenders make decisions. Go! Good, so now we're working on getting that elbow through. Got two more. Let's try a bit harder here, defense. Go! There we go, well done. And last one, go. Good. See how he's initiated contact, able to get that arm free. That's all what we're looking for with our drills.